All right, let's see if I can record this video really quick before I have to go to work. Okay, so I was tagged by Marissa at Little Spider 9 to do the Christmas tree tag, and it has like really fun questions about all parts of the Christmas tree and like Christmas. The first question is, tree trunk. What books would you say are the foundation of your love of reading? Definitely But Not Buddy by Christopher Paul Curtis. And it was one of like our accelerated reader books that we had to read and I just didn't want to read it because it was so long but I loved it. Another book that really really left an impression on me is Freak the Mighty which I read in sixth grade and it was one of our summer reading books and I've talked about this before on my channel but it, it's one where I was reading it in the car on vacation with my family and I started crying in the car because it really pulls at your heartstrings it's just a great story of friendship and you know how differences don't really determine who you can be friends with I'm also eating like a mix of a chipotle bowl that I made with chicken like honey chicken I don't know but it's good other series that I really loved when I was younger is Junie B. Jones I thought it was hilarious and the Georgia Nicholson series by Louise Renison I also thought it was hilarious and I loved those in middle school the next question is pine needles what book would you say was a breath of fresh air this year I put three different answers because I cheat like that. I put a nonfiction one, a fiction one, and a graphic novel. So my nonfiction one was Dead Mountain and this book just like blew my mind and it was so thrilling even though it was nonfiction and I read it in like two, two or three sittings just because I was so into it. And if you are at all interested in like hiking mountain stories and also interested in like a paranormal sort of mystery of like what happened to these hikers, this book is amazing. And even the author really comes up with like a new theory of what happened. So if you haven't read that mountain and you're looking for something thrilling and nonfiction and ice cold in the mountains, you'll love this one. For fiction, Rebecca was a breath of fresh air, especially as someone who does not read as much romance, romantic slash gothic slash mystery books. Fantastic. And for graphic novel, The 100 Nights of Hero. I didn't think I was going to love that book as much as I did, but it's messages of like women's place and also messages of like what stories mean and why stories are so important. Great book. The next question is lights. What book slash author makes you feel light and happy? I put two different graphic novels. One, Jonesy, which I read towards the beginning of the year and I just thought it was hilarious and fun and it had so many great pop culture references and I just really connected with the main character even though she was totally ridiculous. Totally made me feel light and happy after I read it. And also Goldie Vance which has a really fun mystery. Kind of like a mix of Nancy Drew but it happens in a hotel in Florida and I read the second one as well this year and also really enjoyed it. It resonated emotionally to me um, and it also just had like really lighthearted and like fun characters to follow. The next question is Tinsel. Name a character that sparked and adds a certain flair to the story. I focus just on books that I read this year, or I tried to, and one that really stood out to me as a character that really added so much to the story and the story would completely be different without that person is now from A Tale for the Time Being. Now's voice in that book just added so much to that book and just made it so much more entertaining and interesting to me. And she has a lot of things about her. It's not like she's just funny and happy. I really love that she has so many parts to her but that her voice really bounced off the pages for me. Ornaments. What character would you want to befriend in real life that you feel would accent your personality? Again, I went the nonfiction and fiction route. For fiction, I would say any of Mariko or Jolene Tamaki's characters in books that I read this year. I always feel like I connect with them on some level even though a lot of them are really different from me just like their cynicism and like just the way that they view the world and like friendships and people and like how quiet and reserved they are for the most part I really like and another uh, person that's in nonfiction books so it's not really a character it's a real life person but Katie Turr reading her memoir unbelievable this year as a reporter following Donald Trump her reactions to like everything remained professional but also really really funny and like a person that I feel like if I just had a conversation with her I think that we could find some commonalities. Next question is Free Topper. What book that you read this year stands out to you the most? Man I read so much good stuff this year and I honestly am going to separate my favorites books videos like nonfiction fiction graphic novels because I just have a lot of things to talk about that I feel like are worthy of being um, like a standout of this year. Um, I put on this here, just I'm gonna name some and then you're, you'll hear about them again during my favorites. Claudette Colvin, Twice Toward Justice, We Were Feminist Once, Rebecca, and Reading with Patrick. Next question is Tree Skirt. What book that you read this year do you consider to be overlooked but still a great piece of work? I would definitely say What the Heart Knows by Joyce Sidman and it's a poetry collection and it's kind of old. 
I, I think it's a few years old and it's for children slash young adults and I just loved it it's the kind of poetry that I feel really connects with me that has beautiful sound it had beautiful illustrations and it had like messages and themes that I was looking for about bravery and compassion and being okay with not being the best. I just loved everything about that collection and it's the only poetry this year that I really felt like hit it on what I wanted. And the last question is, Presents Under the Tree, what is the number one book you would like to see under the tree this year? You all know that I don't really collect books and I just use my library all the time, but if I could have books that I want as part of my collection, it would be the March series or it would be the rest of the Elena Ferrante books that I don't have. I only have My Brilliant Friend, so maybe I could collect the rest of them. Or any of the other Harry Potter illustrated editions that have come out, I only have the first one as well. So any of those things under the Christmas tree would be fun for me. And that's it for the tag. Thanks Marissa for tagging me. It was quite fun. I really liked the questions. I need to, I need to go. I have two minutes to go to work, so it's time for me to go. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.